Hi guys, welcome to Watkins Way. Today we're going to make a salsa that I've been making for probably 30 or 40 years. Going to be a little bit different the way I do it, so stay with us. I have my friend Olivia Hack. Oh, hey Gary. Here today, Olivia's going to help me out. So let's get started. I am here to be your sous chef. Now, why are we using hickory smoked olive oil and not regular olive we oil? We want this to have a smoky flavor. We okay. want the salsa to have a smoky flavor. So the Temecula Olive Oil Company sells a hickory smoked olive oil. So this is what I'm going to use today, and we're going to put it in our skillet. And we're just now we're just going to drizzle a little, little bit of the hickory smoked on here. And what I want you to do... I'm going to do a nice coating on the base. Yeah, that's right. what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. Our ingredients today is going to be about 10 or 11 small tomatoes. We're going to have one jalapeno. If you want the salsa a little bit hotter, use a serrano pepper. A serrano pepper is about three or four times hotter than this. This is just a regular white onion, about a medium-sized onion, four cloves of garlic, and the juice of one lime. And when you go to the store, just buy a bunch of parsley. They're all about the same size. Cilantro. Oh yeah, <laughs> cilantro. That's why I got That's Olivia here. That's why I'm here. So she can tell me when I screw up. <laughs> and I do that quite a bit. And we're gonna have a little bit of salt to add to it to taste. And we're gonna have it with our chips. Mm. Then we're gonna have chips and salsa. So what I want you to do is start throwing these tomatoes. Just take the okay. stem off of them. So I'm just taking the stem off and I'm throwing these in whole, right? I'm yeah, not just throw them in whole. Okay. And what I want you to do is take this spatula, kind of move them around as they start cooking. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do while you're doing that is I'm gonna just start chopping up half a, of an onion. So great, you have all your mise en place. It's all just yep. working You're gonna for like you. this, this is gonna be really good. And you've been making this for years and years. I've been huh? making this, Olivia, for probably 40, Whoa. 40, 40 Where years. Whoa, where did this recipe come from? Just something you got it's, somewhere? You, know, you I, can remember, right? I can't remember. You've been making it for I can't 40 remember. years. You know what I do, I, I go out and if I order chips and salsa someplace, and mm -hmm. I like the salsa, I start like dissecting the salsa to see what's in it. Yeah, yeah. And then I start experimenting with it. And, you know, I don't know what restaurant I was at when I did this, but I've been, I've, probably a good 40 years that I've been making this, so. There's nothing like homemade salsa. Oh, I know. You can buy store-made salsa. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of jarred salsa. There are some good ones out there, but there are good fresh salsas, oh, but there's just nothing like homemade salsa. Oh, yeah, I know. Salsa. It's the best. Mm -hmm. you now, know, when I cook these tomatoes, what kind of consistency am I looking for? I'm just... Yeah, you want them, so to, want them just, to get mushy? Act, they, you know, even if they get a little brown or kind of black, mm -hmm. kind of a, like a fire-roasted mm -hmm. tomato, that's okay. Okay. You know, it doesn't matter. We're going to... And we're cooking these at a low heat, right? We're cooking those at about, yeah, low to medium. Low to medium. Yeah, heat. between okay. low and medium. You know, we want those cooking while I'm chopping. All right. That way we got all the fresh ingredients now, going in. Does that in. bother your eyes, onions, cutting onions? You don't no. have a problem? No. No. Lucky you. Maybe I'm used to it. <laughs> all the years of abuse. I know. Now, I want you to take these four garlic cloves yeah. and just throw them in the skillet All right. and let them start browning up. You don't have to do anything okay. other than that. And I'm going to cut up the jalapeno and we're going to do it like this. Ooh. And we're going to take out, we're going to take out the seeds. The seeds add some heat to it. I was going to say, so is this a medium heat uh, yeah. jalapeno or what's the... This is going to be a medium heat. Okay. And that's why I said, if you want to use uh, a serrano pepper, that's a little bit hotter. Or if you left the seeds in here, mm -hmm. it's pretty hot. All right. It gets really hot. Good so we don't want to do that. I, I usually make my salsa medium, maybe a little bit above medium. You know, I like it really hot, but mm -hmm. a lot of people don't. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that. I like it really hot too. Oh, so. do you? I mean, I'm a California girl. I grew up with of Mexican food. Of course you do. Food, you know? Oh, so. yeah. I feel like you meet some people from New Hampshire or whatever, they're not uh, used to the spice, but I grew up with right, it, so yeah. I'm all about that. Like, well, I'll tell you what, all of my 11 grandkids, I can't make it hot enough. Really? They love it. But see, they all grew up here, right? They all grew yes, up here. It's a and, different thing. And they want it, they want it hot. So. 
How are they doing? They, I mean, they think they're doing good. They don't seem to be, they yeah. just seem to be hanging out. All right. Just chilling well, let's, out Let's oil. do this. Let's, let's Increase the let's, heat a little bit? Yeah. All right. So let's turn it up. We got that pretty much on high. I got it cooking at 400 degrees. There's some pretty little tomatoes. They're kind of just so, like a perfect golf ball size, yeah. if you will. Wow, this is such an easy recipe. Like, there's I know. really not many ingredients. And it's it. all so fresh. I mean, everything is so fresh. With salsa, do you feel like it's all about just getting your proportions right? That's right. Okay, because the ingredients are pretty much the same in a lot of this stuff. So it's you just know, a proportion. We got about, if you want to look at this right here, Olivia, mm -hmm. see, we got about two to one. Okay. Two to one onions versus jalapenos. Mm -hmm. That's a good portion. Okay. Uh, tomatoes, this is gonna be the tomato sauce. Okay. So that's not gonna matter. All right. So the main thing is two to one here. And then I got this little thing of cilantro. All right. And we'll take these stems and put those over there. And then we're just gonna take, uh, I'm gonna have you to throw the garlic cloves in. Is it time in. for our garlic? Okay. Time for the garlic. I'm gonna throw in this garlic right now. And when I chop this parsley right here, see how I'm doing mm, it? That smells good. I can I don't, really smell it. I know, it. smell it. It smells and delicious. Oh, I'm cilantro, not, by the way. Cilantro. Yeah, it's because we I used said, parsley I in said, the know. last recipe. So we just did a show and we used parsley. We made deviled eggs and we've been talking parsley all now day long. I got him on that parsley train. Now she's got me on parsley and I can't get off parsley. So anyway, cilantro, you can make you don't have to make a small cut on this. You can make it more like a rustic cut, a little bit bigger. It's it's just as good, so you don't have to worry about how you cut it. And we're just gonna throw all this stuff in a bowl. And your tomatoes should be coming along pretty good. Are they softening up for you? I think so, yeah. I mean, it smells delicious. You know what I can oh, yeah. smell? I can smell that hickory from the olive oil. You can smell the yeah, hickory. Yeah, it really right. has a different kind of um, Yeah, it's going to be like a, a fire roasted uh, salsa mm -hmm. with a hickory flavor. Well, it already smells delicious. I know, it does. It smells really good. I'm going to add the juice of one lime. Oh, aren't those the best? Those I know. squeezers, like it's so different. You I get know. so much more juice than just you get doing more it by juice. hand. And you don't get the seeds. Oh, that's also true. Yeah. You don't want chips and salsa with the seed in it, do you? You know, I planted a margarita <laughs> tree maybe two years ago, and it's finally bearing fruit, and I call it my margarita tree. I was going to say, you're um, getting as bad as me. You got a margarita tree, and I got parsley going in with a <laughs> salsa. <so. laughs> Oh yeah, these are starting to really soften. You know how I can tell they're starting yep. to kind of burst here. Oh good, that's that's, that's what we want. Yeah, nice, really nice. All right, so we got our lime juice in there. Three pinches of salt or maybe a three teaspoons of salt. Put that on top. All right, now we got our food processor. Okay. So let's take the top off of that. So are we throwing our tomatoes in the food processor? We're gonna put tomatoes in there. We're okay. gonna put the garlic in there. And what I think I'm going to do right now is Sir, uh, I'm going to take a sip of wine. Well, okay. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. You know, some things are important. Absolutely. Mm. And I do enjoy this wine. You said grab that bottle real quick. You said it was from Trader Joe's, right? Oh, Paso Robles. It's really good. Trader Joe's Paso Dragon wine. Can't beat it's it. It's about eight bucks a bottle. Really good. It's a really, great really Cabernet. Really good. Yeah, it is. And Paso Robles makes some good wines. Mm. All right, so is this hot? You tell me. Well, I'm the one grabbing it, so it's not hot. Okay, so let's turn this off. Okay. And I'm gonna see if I can do this. Woohoo! Can you spoon that out can, and can, get can, get can, that can. hickory smoked olive oil? All that olive oil in there. All I right. can see now why the hickory smoked olive oil is so important because oh. there are so few ingredients, so it oh, really yeah. matters it, yeah. what you're putting in there. Mm -hmm. And then, can you get me a fork out of that drawer there? I can. And what I'm going to do, you know, I'm, I'm going to mix this up a little bit. Then I, what I'm going to do is dump it in there. And okay. as I dump it in, I want you to Stir mix it. it up real good. That I can do. All right, so here we go. And I'm going to, I want to look in there. Sometimes you see the garlic cloves. So you're really pureeing that. This oh, is yeah. not a chop. You are this pureeing is, this. Is, I, this is, we're going to puree okay. this. Okay. This is our tomato sauce. Love it. 
And the garlic cloves are going to be completely... Oh, I can start to really smell it. It smells delicious. Yeah. All right. So we've fully liquefied, emulsified, this, whatever that is. This is okay. what... This is, was our tomatoes 30 seconds ago. So now I'm going to pour our tomatoes, our hickory smoked olive oil, tomatoes cooked in hickory smoked olive oil, four cloves of garlic. I'm going to pour them in here. Go Olivia is going to mix it all up. And we're going to have the Watkins Way 40-year-old recipe Ooh. of salsa. That, all right. Wow, look at all that. All right, that, that looks pretty good. gorgeous. Well, Gary, I have to say, this is some restaurant quality salsa. If somebody brought this to my table at a Mexican restaurant, I'd be more than happy. You always judge a Mexican restaurant by their salsa, and this looks great. It, it looks pretty good. Can I try it? I want you to try it, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go I'm a, in. As a matter of fact, I wanna try it with you. You know, the chip is just a vehicle for the salsa. I, I know, that's all it is. Oh, it's really good. Is it good? <laughs> what, can, can you taste the, Ooh, hick the hickory? That's really good. Can you taste that hickory smoke? I can, I can taste the hickory smoke and I can also taste the jalapeno mm. and I like that they're big chunks of jalapeno mm. too. Mm. Big fan. Mm -hmm. And easy to make. Oh yeah. Like that. Mm. Five Nothing minutes. like fresh salsa. Five minutes we haven't made. I love it. That's really good. Mm -hmm. You gotta get good chips too. Very good chips. You can't buy the just whatever you get in the store. You yeah, got, yeah. I went to a Mexican restaurant mm -hmm. and I bought their chips. Oh. So. Smart These food. are homemade chips. Very good. They, they're really good. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I was lucky. I got Olivia here to help me today. We've been fooling around in the kitchen and making deviled eggs, and I think we're getting ready to make a salad of some type. And we got Stuffing salsa, our faces. and we got wine. So it's all good. It's mm -hmm. so good. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Comments, good or bad. See you guys later. Take care. Cheers. I'm going to have another chip. All right. That's a little bit. <laughs>